how can people support my goal mm -hmm. by just um joining the dream because you know trying to inspire life i can't do that alone no one can do that alone you need people to actually push you people to spread the message you know because even okay so like let me not use anything religious sit down here let me go down to um okay so let's look at a rapper right xxx tentacion so mm. at the beginning of his life it was people hated him because he was a fighter and all but then when he was about to die he became calm and then he started motivating people so then he also said from what he's telling people they should also act like it outside they should pass the message and then when people asked him where did you get the message they directed back to him so like people more people are going to come back to him so like how people can help me achieve my dreams is by sincerely i don't even like when people just tell me your art is good your art is this your art is that because i feel no one art is 100 good so the bad comments are what keeps me going so i'll just say do whatever you want to do like, because when i was starting my ass was whack and then like bad comments is what kept me going like when someone insults me like concerning something you know like i have this type of pride like not like this bad ego but i hate but i just pride that you insult me for something once that is the last time you should insult me about it again mm -hmm. that's just how it is so then everyone should do their thing just do the thing and then support me if you want to i feel even if i have 20 people that support me daily i could still achieve my goals it just depends on what my definition of success is you know some people definition of success is having um teslas in their houses and then living in a mansion that's some people definition of success some people definition of success could be um having a million followers on instagram then being a celebrity that everyone tries to take picture with mm -hmm. that's their definition of success my definition of success would be creating what someone else haven't and then using that, that thing to change lives and then everyone that have impacted their lives come down to me even if it's 10 five thousand ten thousand people then i will feel successful because you know back then when i was looking at my instagram numbers like as I, i was looking at numbers like whoa if i could have 500 instagram followers man i'm successful and then i crossed that and I'm like oh uh, okay now 700 i mm. crossed that and i'm like what so then now i set a new goal okay 10k then i'll feel successful but i'm sure even when i reach 10k it's not success it's just purely numbers i know that okay so oh, like yeah <laughs> i like i i when you said as there gets to a point where success just becomes numbers i can really relate to that honestly <laughs> because it does. i remember it does. earlier this month actually i was posting chapters on reddit and the chapter of a comic that I'm working on was uh, just a Reaper. It was the first chapter. And I posted it all on the uh, the r slash r slash comics subreddit and it blew up like over it blew up overnight to like around half a million uh people looking mm -hmm. at it. Whoa, that's yeah. huge. <laughs> yeah, it was huge. Cause, cause at the at first I was looking at the numbers growing. I saw the upvotes from like a hundred to two hundred to two <laughs> to like five hundred <laughs> to a thousand. And I think at the hundred thousand viewer count, I got bored. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. I got That's bored. That's how it is. You're gonna get bored at the end because it's just numbers. But then what my mom tells me is that. You, you you shouldn't look at it as just numbers. You should look at it as people. Because mm -hmm. even if you have hundred followers, imagine being in a room with hundred people that love you, and then they all try to take pictures with you. You're gonna feel like a god. You're gonna feel like a star. So she said, those are people. And but though, but nah, come on. For me, I still feel it's um 
everything like success when you're successful and you have nothing to strive for life becomes meaningless life becomes boring you know because mm-hmm. like there's no competitor like okay just imagine i just go and then i post the manga and then i'm having one billion views per chapter like i'm gonna quit manga because i'm not even trying i'm mm-hmm. not even listen there's pleasure when you strive hard to get something it's huge right. pleasure but like when it just works you're just like oh okay okay I, okay so being invited to speak at conventions right now and all i had this pleasure in it because i know i worked hard for this you know mm-hmm. like i've been into art like crazy since i was 11 that's when i started my arts on a professional level at age 11 so then now everything now happening at age 16 i know okay i was being built for this right i was being built for this even if i'm not putting my face out there like no one knows my face apart from people i meet at conventions even though like i know okay i was being built for this so then when I see people come around like, oh, you're Daniel, I know you're fully in it. And I'm like, oh my God. So, so you see, even um, Zoe, if you know Zoe Thurgood, something like that, Zoe, mm. she speaks concerning this. And like, when you have the numbers on Instagram, like them showing you love, ah, it's not really anything. But when you see them in person come to you, that's when it's something. That's when you get mind blown. Like, imagine, okay, so back just early this year when i post on instagram i just have about 10 to 17 likes and i'm like oh just imagine having 50 or 200 likes when i feel good and then now i'm having 50 to 100 likes and then i feel i still feel like crap so you know so like as far as the social media you're gonna get bored about it in the end that's the thing in the end you're going to get bored because you look at celebrities committing suicide you have nothing to live for a lot of these celebrities die young i've like it is rare seeing a celebrity living up to 100 you know because mm-hmm. life becomes so meaningless and boring yeah so that's all that that gives me like two quotes uh what the- two quotes that that i want to say there was uh, one from, I believe it was Jim Carrey. I need to see. I'm trying to remember. Yes, it was Jim Carrey, I believe. He said, I hope everybody gets what they want so they realize it's not what they need. Of course, and, of course. And I was watching another video like uh, through Film Courage. And I remember that was a good, and a writer, I forgot who the writer's name that was a good principle to follow when it comes to writing characters. Like the character always need to get what they want, but when they get what they want, they have to realize that's not what they needed. So even when they win, they got to fail to find what success really is. Yes. Yes. So, of course. Of course. So, that's all. It's uh, it's uh, I just I just think about that constantly, like getting those getting those numbers. I hope everybody gets the numbers that they want to realize that <laughs> when they get it, that's not what they're looking for. That's not what they need. Exactly, exactly. Because okay, you might want a huge house and then a Tesla and then driving a lot of crazy cars, but then when you go old, you be like, nah, I just want one car. I just want a happy family. Yes. yes. That's what most people realize late. They leave their youth anyhow, but then when they are old, they now seek a happy family. Happy family is what they need, but the lavish lifestyle was what they wanted. So then it is at the end of what you want that you know what you need. That's just how it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. 